Yes, thank you, Mr. President. Dear colleagues, six months ago, Bulgarian opposition leader and former Prime Minister Boyko Borisov was arrested, house searched, and detained for 24 hours. An opposition leader arrested upon the explicit request of the ruling Prime Minister, Mr. Petkov, without the involvement of a single judge or prosecutor or any kind of due process. It's a scandal. And it's a scandal that is now confirmed by the court in Sofia, which has ruled that the arrest of the former Prime Minister was factually unfounded, incompatible with the purpose of the law, and it did not meet the standards of lawfulness. In short, it was illegal. The independent judiciary in Bulgaria has done its work where the government failed spectacularly to uphold the rule of law and democracy. But it's not only the Bulgarian government that has failed. Where were the self-proclaimed rule of law defendants in this house in the past six months? Socialists, liberals, greens, the left, nothing but silence, which, let's be honest, is not exactly your default setting. Is this your idea of rule of law? That only the people you politically sympathize with are worthy of its protection. The hypocrisy is truly staggering. And where was the commission? Commissioner Reinders, Commissioner Jaurova, always so outspoken on rule of law. You've been hiding behind national competences and ongoing investigations in Bulgaria. And I've listened very carefully to your words, and I can't help but wondering whether you're sure you're at the right debate. I mean, look at the title, Illegal Detention of the Opposition Leader in Bulgaria. And in the whole speech, you fail to even mention those words. The investigations you were hiding behind, thank you for proving the point about never being silent, Ms. Daly. The investigations you were hiding behind are concluded and the result is crystal clear. The house search and the detention was illegal. And are you serious telling us here today that the Commission does not care about the illegal detention of an opposition leader in Europe? You should be publicly condemning this. And I'm asking you concretely to still do so when you come back to this platform. Thank you. Thank you.